Hello, I am the Dance a Light Dancer, and today we are doing a comedy bit up here. You're going to see me and uh, all the rest of them, so stay tuned. And we're going to see if this took. Oh no, let's not let them run out of us. You got some more lasagna, right? Yes, we do. I found out that it's good, I like it. <laughs> you ever heard of me? No, I'm the Dance of Life Dancer. Okay. I'm going to be doing your comedy bit today. Awesome. Ah, let's have another bread and another cookie. Okay. Chocolate chip? Yeah, chocolate. What do you got, peanut butter you said? Uh, this is peanut butter, yes. Dark peanut butter. Alright. And another drinky winky. Right. Got any? Yeah, I got it. Get your picture? I've had the sugar, but I don't know what I did with it. Hello, I am the Dance Alive Dancer. Right now, I am at the Mental Health Conference in uh, Carbondale, uh, whatever the name of this town is, and setting up to do the comedy bit right now. That's me. So. <clears throat> and I couldn't even, t this is a college, I don't remember the name of this college even. So, anyway, we're setting up to do this comedy thingy up here. So, there's John. I'll give you more information as it comes. Y'all, this is, this is a hard couple slides, okay? 
Financially well is purely subjective. I'm going to give you some statistics, but I tell you what, everybody has their own idea of what it means to be financially well. Okay? Um, financial security, financial freedom of choice in the present and the future is the technical definition. Okay? So basically, you've got enough to get by now, you got enough to get by in the future. Next, right? dancer and today we are doing a comedy bit up here you're going to see me and uh, all the rest of them so stay tuned and we're going to see if this took Psychiatrist, 
I just sit in a chair and fall asleep. <laughs> so when I see people at concerts, they say that I am distracting to the band. Maybe I should stop dancing on the stage. <laughs> and the drummer doesn't like it when I use his bass drum as a prop. But it worked. At one of my dance programs, I take my therapist with me. Because oh, it's so stressful. And the more stressful it is, the more I dress her up. Guess what? She's the most expensive prop I got. <laughs> I was doing my dance. Oh, on my way, someone said, get out of the way. They were going to hit me on the head with a chair. That really upset me. Because I'd much rather be here with a lunchbox. <laughs> okay, so here we go. The doctors, they disagree on my diagnosis here. One over here says I have generalized anxiety disorder. One over there says I have bipolar. One back there says I have schizoaffective. So they kept giving me medicines. Pretty soon I'd be able to start my own discount pharmacy. Come and get it. So I go to therapy. And they give me skills to cope with my anxiety. But my therapist really doesn't like it when I scream at her. Neither do any of the other customers at the Walmart checkout line. Okay, so my psychiatrist told me to write down all of my cognitive distortions right away. Like if I'm paranoid and somebody's following me. Oh, there they are, right down the highway. I'm supposed to write down while I'm driving. But that's awful hard to worry about. Awful hard when you've just been in a car accident. <laughs> okay, once I was at the art museum. And I was dancing on the stage. Security told me, get down. So I got down with the boogie woogie. <laughs> Dancing queen and runaway train by soul asylum. <laughs> Before I go, I'd like to read this poem to you. The breath of life is a gift. Each moment is yet another opportunity to share the beauty of life with others. And with this breath, I find peace. And I very much thank you all for being here today, learning all this beautiful stuff. And I got one more for you. Never waste today, because trust me, it's too important. Thank you so very much, and I wish you a very good day. <laughs>